Hi everybody, it's Steph here again and today what we're going to show you is this lovely Waterman's 452 and a half with a V on the end and as you can see this particular one is an absolutely beautiful beautiful um, sterling silver filigree overlay pen. Now this particular pen is a ladies pen and I'm hoping you can actually see to the top there um, it has this little ring which um, I'm assuming in the days of this particular pen when it was actually um, in existence if you like I, I assume in the regions of 1920s 1930s um, it was hung around a lady's a lady's neck with a well I assume a chain so it's a little pen the size of the pen from the top of the loop at the top there to the bottom um, is approximately 96 um, millimeters capped um, around the the barrel here it's a fraction under or it's near as damn it 10 millimeters in diameter um, as I say this is a sterling silver overlay in uh, in this beautiful beautiful filigree which um, let's try and show you a close-up of it okay I'm hoping you can actually see that now <coughs> excuse me if we look at the bottom of the barrel here you can actually see the very clear imprint there and again what it actually tells us is this one is a four five two and a half um, with a V now the the numbers on here what they actually stand for the the number four actually tells us that the pen is a sterling silver pen the number five indicates to us that it's a lever pen um, the number two, which we'll show you in a moment, indicates that the correct um, nib for this particular pen is the number two. Uh, is, is the number two nib? The half actually indicates to us that it's well, what they term as a thin barrel. And last but not least, the V tells us um, that this pen is a short. Is a short pen now <coughs> the other sort of numbering systems um, if you have actually a waterman with a it begins with an if it begins with a number five um, if you're lucky, lucky enough to have the number five at the beginning it will indicate to you that it's a solid gold pen if the number um, is actually zero five at the beginning that indicates that um, the pen is a gold filled pen okay and in this particular case um, the number four as we've just told you there is telling us that this is actually a sterling silver pen now what it also tells us if I show you the just to the bottom of the cap there and I'm hoping you can actually see that um, it's telling us that you can see that this says Waterman and if we just rotate it slightly, again I'm hoping you can see that there, it's telling us that it's actually sterling. Now, just below that, on the barrel here, again I'm hoping you can actually see it, it's actually telling us that it was made in USA. Um, as I said before, this particular one is a lever. And again, if we show you the lever here, I'm hoping you can actually see there, it's got a lovely clear ideal um, and the ideal symbol to the to the end of the lever there. Okay. Now if we unscrew unscrew the cap here and show you both pens um, next to each other. Well, not both pens, should I say the the cap and the pen together like that as you can see an absolutely beautiful beautiful example um, as you see um, to the top here just to the top of the barrel it's showing us the the black hard rubber it's got this standard hard rubber uh, section here and to the top what we've actually got is a waterman's nib 
Now, again, I'm hoping you can actually see that, but what it's actually telling us on the nib, the imprint actually reads Waterman's Ideal uh, Reg US Pat Office. Um, and I don't know if you can actually see it just below there. You may just see the beginning of the number two down at the bottom. Let's give you a different angle. And below the number two, which you can't actually see because it's actually inside the, the section itself. Um, it actually tells us right at the bottom of the nib, it's actually made in USA. Um, underneath here, we've got this lovely, uh, nice and clean feed there, which is the uh, standard feed for this particular pen. And all in all, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pen. Now, <coughs> this particular pen came to me from a customer. We've just actually serviced it. We've put a new sack in it for her. Um, now, I know you people are going to actually shout at me, but I'm not going to attempt to um, fill the pen. Um, incidentally, we show you how to fill the pen. All we do is actually, says he, with no nails. There we go. The lever on these particular pens lift up like so. They just lift up straight. They don't go any further. Okay. And that's the correct manner for this particular pen. Okay. And if we can actually show you the... There we go. You can see the ideal a little bit clearer there. Um, but as I say, it's had a new um, new sack fitted, so it's in full working order. As I say, I'm not going to attempt to write with it, because as you can see, um, in the immortal words of, um, well, another gentleman that does videos on YouTube, um, on YouTube, should I say, I actually have big hands. And this particular pen, as you can see, if I held it to the bottom there, I can't, I can't hold it comfortable. Uh, so... Trust me, it does actually work, and it's got a quite a nice flexible nib. This number two nib is is nice and flexible. Um, as I say, it's been fully served. It's had a new sack fitted. All in all, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pen. Okay. Unfortunately, as I say, a little bit on the small side for me, but it comes in this beautiful, beautiful um, sterling silver filigree overlay. Um, just to actually maybe give you an idea of the physical size of the pen, um, what we have here, um, this is actually a Waterman Ideal number 52, uh, sorry, a number 54, and if I can actually show you like so, you can actually physically see the difference, if we pop that down like so, and here we have a standard grey uh, Parker 51, Again, if you actually look at the difference there, that's how small this particular pen is. So, hopefully that gives you some indication of the size of the pen. But all in all, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pen. Um, this is the Waterman 452.5V in sterling silver made in USA, approximately 1920s, 1930s. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Don't forget there's plenty more videos on YouTube. So, so go and have a look at them. Leave a comment. And just for now ladies and gentlemen I'll just simply say bye bye now.